Well, with school districts statewide waiting this week for word from the governor about whether or not they're going to actually reopen before the end of this school year, many districts are still already looking at how they might approach summer school, if they have any. Here's two on your sides, Jackie Roberts. Western New York schools have continued to adapt as the COVID-19 crisis evolves. Teachers have never worked harder in their life than they're working right now, and they're putting in enormous hours, oftentimes from sun up to sundown and even beyond sundown. And as we inch closer to the end of the school year, some districts are planning for what summer classes could look like. Well, our desired course of action would be a traditional summer program where students come to us for a portion of the day. Uh, however, if that's not possible, we'll continue with the continuity of our instructional plans via an online platform. Since the state's decision will determine how schools move forward, some districts are preparing for both a traditional summer school session and a remote one, if in-person instruction is not permitted by then. Necessity is the mother of invention, so all our teachers have become very, very proficient at uh, teaching remotely. So I think we're really ready um, to do it either way. I think with the continual progress of virtual learning and virtual instruction, we're starting to look at more virtual academies for summer school. And the need for summer programming might be different than years past. This may not be the traditional, you didn't do anything all year or you didn't meet the standards all year. This may be just to reinforce some of the skills that were taught earlier in the year and to reteach some of the ones that are being taught during distance learning. I think that once the governor lifts the pause, when that happens, uh, we'll take a look at each individual student and what they might need and then develop an individual plan for each student for the months of hopefully July and August. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.